Mr. Hilliard, you're right. You're right. Everything you just said. It's about respect for the art and for the artists. And it makes me think how wrong we've been playing Uncle Frank for laughs. Yes, he's a drunkard and a clown, mm. but he's also all those people who gave their sons to one war and now their grandsons to another. If we served that truth, if we gave you an Uncle Frank really worth your time and your talent, I wonder if you would consider putting that same time and talent towards helping Mr. Lundbeck and the picture. I don't think we've been properly introduced. I'm Catherine Cole. I'm one of the writers. Catherine, between us, we'll have them weeping in the aisles. Their Finest is a completely charming film that's got a bit of bite, and that's all to the good. It's an inside the movie story, which is one of my favorite genres, but this doesn't take place in Hollywood. It takes place in Britain, and not in today's Britain, but in Britain in the early days of World War II. There were not many women in the film industry in those days, and Gemma Atherton, wonderful actress, plays a young woman trying to get her start there. She's terrific in it, but the person who steals the film is Bill Nighy. Once you see his face, you will remember who he is. He is so funny here as a matinee idol, a little bit past his prime, you really have to laugh whenever you see him. There's some darkness in this film, there's a lot of humor, a lot of good things as well. And really, this is an entertaining piece of work. For the Los Angeles Times, this is Kenneth Turan.